I'm Jack from Jack Review Stuff, and today we're looking at the budget gaming keyboard. This is the MKA 2C, and it's full mechanical switches. Hot swappable. Okay, they give you two free switches. Gamers, right? Their income basically is to do with playing games and the keyboard or keyboard and mouse are the two main things that they need to use to control their game. So basically they want the best thing money can buy. And well, mechanical keyboard is the best thing money can buy. Either it helps with performance, ergonomics or fatigue. You see with a mechanical keyboard, when you press the keys, when you press around halfway, it goes click. Whereas a normal membrane keyboard, you must press all the way down. Let's open and have a look. Yeah, you can pause the video and have a look. Okay, let's have a look. Open. You see, I bought this offline. See, you can buy stuff from Taobao Lazada, all those no non-brand mechanical keyboards, but the thing is, you can't trust the specifications because it's no brand, it's fake anyway. This is this, uh, this brand, Armageddon, it's from Singapore. It's considered a local brand. That's why it's a lot less expensive than Razer, Corsair, and the other American brands. See, it's not cheap. It's like almost 100 ringgit. For a mechanical keyboard, it's quite budget and uh, budget friendly and value and, it's, and it feels more or less the same of course if it's your income then don't spend 100 ringgit buying a keyboard spend i don't know 700 or 500 like a razor keyboard okay what do you have you have two switches and you have the switch removal tool so the first one will remove the keycap the part that you can see the one with the abc on it and the second piece will remove the, 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 key, the switch itself. So this is the switch itself. Normally on the keyboard, all the, letter, all the keys are attached to one membrane plate. Whereas this one, can you hear? Where is it? Microphone. Zoom in. That's the switch. And you can see when you press it halfway, it goes click. It doesn't have to press all the way down, just halfway. So basically you can remove all the switches in the, in the keyboard. If not mistaken, the space bar has two switches inside. Let's unwrap this more. Comes with nice protection. I mean it's good for something like 15 million clicks, but it's still nice to have protection, right? Ah nice. Look at this keyboard. Oh yeah, and the sound. Ooh. Which other one? Oh yeah. Now this is a keyboard. Mm. Definitely ergonomic. And there's a way to control the backlighting. So it's like running around or always on or breathing. Okay, it's not completely RGB, it means you can't change the colors. Okay, backlight mode one, snake shaped running horse. Mode two is a wave, vertical row by row, horizontal line by line, learning transformation, cross lighting. Uh, function, uh, sorry, light and four is the one that I like when you press, it follows what you press. And number five is just always on, which is what I prefer. This is a pretty good keyboard. It's heavy, but not too heavy. No flex. Either it's got a metal plate or hard plastic. Put it on Singapore, made in China, of course. Huh? It's a pretty good keyboard. 50 million clicks. And they give you spare blue switches, which you could either use, keep them as spare or you can like, put on your table or you know, double tie the tape to your monitor to show off. Like, oh, what I'm doing? Subscribe.
And by Armageddon keyboards. Support local Malaysian Singaporean.